Yeah. Hey, what's up, kings and queens? It's Theo. And it's safe. Anyways, y'all, we got a video. <laughs> First time reacting to this is uh, engaged couple plays truth or dream. You got it, Fleming. Because I watched some of these videos before, and sometimes I get Theo to watch them, and then I go on like a rabbit hole and just mm -hmm. keep watching it. And I was like, well, why don't we react to it? Let's see how it is, and maybe we could do a truth or drink one time. I say, I would destroy you in a truth and drink. Wait, wait, I'm thinking about uh, beer pong. Yeah, yeah, yeah never, like, mind, uh, never mind, never mind. Yeah, we should do a truth, truth, truth I was automatically thinking about beer you pong. You just automatically just being competitive. I it's okay. Video. Have you ever seriously considered breaking up with me? Not seriously, no. Have you casually know. considered it? Um, <laughs> yeah, let's just take a shot. It's a Damn. <laughs> Let's just take a shot. Let's not talk about it. Let's not start an argument. Who are you guys? I'm Amy. I'm Shannon. I'm Hope. Slick. Stop I'm Haley. Hope. And I'm Carlos. And what's special about you guys? We are newly engaged. Congratulations. How long have you guys been together? Well, well, we met in 2010, so we've known each other for like 10 years. How long we've been together, unclear. <laughs> Say seven, like seven, yeah. Say seven years. Eight years. Eight years. <coughs> Let's drink to that. Take a shot. <laughs> yeah, we've been together about 10 years. What was your very first impression? I love it. I was walking into Encore in Tacoma. It's like a nightclub. And he was like walking down the stairs. I looked at him and I like elbowed my friend. I was like, oh my gosh, I think he's so cute. And then we were making out on the dance yeah, floor, but yeah. I was like, okay, so, well, I'm tired. I'm going to go sit down. See you later. And we, he was like, wait. Like, we kissed on the dance number? floor. I don't really do that. So I should probably get your number. I mean, if it wasn't for him, we like, wouldn't be sitting here today. Oh my God. <laughs> Your I very first impression of me. Voices. I thought you were very hot. I remember the very first time I met you, and I was still dating someone else, and I was like, she's definitely out of my league. She's definitely straight. Little did you know. <laughs> How were we raised differently? <laughs> Everybody's voice. <laughs> I know. I like, I was oh going. Oh my God. I mean, I know country shit and I'm terrible at talking and speaking, but damn. Damn, yeah. Like, I, the I first time everybody. was like, uh, you know, he's like, I'm gonna probably get your number. She's like, yeah, you probably should. And then the other girl's like, yeah, I didn't know you were, you were out of my league. No, no, no. I mean, I understand that everybody is nervous and everything. And then it's weird talking about themselves. Uh, uh, like, yeah, how they met and everything. Because, you know, we have to talk about how we met. Mm -hmm. And we like, mm -hmm. Yeah. Friendly. And has that ever been an issue in our relationship? I grew up in Mexico. Like, very, very, very poor. And you were, like, pretty well off. Like, now it's an issue because I had no money, like, growing up. Like, I like spending all my money. It's gotten to the point where he just gives me gives me all his money. And she gives me an allowance. And I give him an allowance. And I know that sounds Damn. very controlling, but it's for the best. Because we would not have a house if it was up to him. Is, is there anything just important that we completely disagree about? Not important. Yeah. I feel like we disagree not about important. small, small things. things. Like, I would say, like, he wants to, like, cuddle all night. <laughs> oh, right, right, right. Whereas maybe, uh, like, I don't. Is there anything Damn. about getting married that scares you that you haven't shared with me? I feel like the only thing that I'm scared about is just, like, all of my grad school debt that you're now going to take on. I just feel bad because if I die, like, it falls to you. So I feel bad about that. Oh, <laughs> I guess it would be better like that. <laughs> In what ways am I not the type of person you imagined you would marry? Every way. Mm -hmm. My parents raised me thinking that I could only aspire for Prince Charming. That picture was white, blonde, oh. blue eyes. Yeah. You weren't anything I was expecting, and I love it. Yeah, I'm so spicy, huh? <laughs> <laughs> that is something you have always wanted to try in the bedroom that we haven't done. <laughs> mm. I'm actually gonna take a shower because I will not describe <laughs> it, something like that. Because you tried everything. <laughs> yeah, that that part. Hey, I wanna um we should oh, play this game. Kind of I feel like the only thing is like I hey. want somebody who's more dominant, but I don't really feel like that's gonna come from you. So if I ever want that, I think I'd need to go to somebody else. Are you guys monogamous? We have slept with at least one other person. But you are the most important person to me for sure. So like, I want to prize our relationship over everything else. 
Yeah, same. She can run a game on you, bro. Yeah. In five years. How? Every time we have sex, it's like, I feel like it's better than when we started dating. Oh, what was that? <laughs> no, 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 that's not what I mean. <laughs> I think things have slowed down. Yeah. I attribute it to your age. And that we live with another person. Yeah, that's a big one. It's really hard. She's there looking all pretty. <laughs> the other person? No, <laughs> no, her. She's sitting there next to me. She's beautiful. You know, I'm like wanting that booty. But then the other person is like in the room. So it's really hard finding ways to like just do it. What does your family honestly think about me? They love you a lot. They might love her more than they love me. Well, my dad's particularly cold to like anyone new entering into the family. You're and I don't think he was very happy about you being queer for a long time. I think he had a pretty strong vision of what he thought your life was going to be. But then I think he learns that I care about you and that you're my number one priority. And I think that really changed his mind on a lot of things. I think it took a long time for my parents to want us to get married. They saw us in our early years fighting a lot. There was a long time when you were like, I don't fucking care about them. I don't care what they think. Mm. And that hurt me. So you were in the middle. I was in the middle yeah. trying to defend both you guys. Yeah. What did you guys used to fight about? You were not showing me a fiction. No. We used to be long distance. So you you projected a lot of yeah. negativity onto mm -hmm. me, and I didn't know how to fix that. I didn't know how to cope with that. But you stuck around. Yeah, you stuck around. Have you ever seriously considered breaking up with me? Not seriously. No. Have okay. you casually considered it? Um. <laughs> yeah. Let's just take the shot. <laughs> Have you ever seriously considered breaking up with me? I mean, yeah. When. You were not showing me affection at uh, the beginning of our relationship, yeah. And I mean, I seriously considered it for you, too. I was done with the drama. I was done with the fighting. I was done with everything. Yeah. I was still young, and this guy was a hot mess. And you yeah. said, give me another chance. Mm -hmm. I know I need to improve. And boy, my God, I gave you a second chance. When did you know you wanted to marry me? I knew for sure when we first started dating that I was like, if I don't date this person, I'm going to regret it for the rest of my life. And mm -hmm. I had that really strong feeling. So do you feel similar? I think for a long time, I like didn't know if I would marry at all. I mean, I feel like you're just so much better than anyone I could imagine myself with because you're like really smart and ambitious and really attractive. <laughs> <laughs> and so it was like all of the things in my self-loathing I didn't think I deserved. And I feel like you've shown me that I do deserve you. When I realized she was my Damn, mom, I hate her boy. She had I know. My wife, actually. So cute. Great, thank you. That was beautiful. Yeah. If you like to drink or tell the truth, you should. Play a yeah. joke. You know, you know, break your relationship apart or make it stronger. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. That's cool. Other hey. ones that I saw have been like better than this. I mean, this was all right, but they were just no fun. Um. What? Wait, was you? What, my opinion? Yeah, go for it. Yeah, this this right here isn't my land. tea. I'm more of a fear pong type of guy, or you know, we can play strip pong if we uh uh in filming on it. Not bullshit about filming, but we can play strip pong and shit like that. Privately, but, yes. but uh, play fear pong and do different truth and dares and something like that. But this right here is not my swag. This shit right here is trash. I know y'all so corny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this ep this episode was like a miss for me. I'm I'm upset. I'm like, damn, should pick a better one, because they just no, they were just they were fun. And say no, how I am too. Uh, yeah, I know. What, what, once I turn, I'm turned off. Say no, I'm gonna give her a little look when she all uh, be picking a different one like this. I mean, like, let's say you put another one on, right? I'm like, yeah, you gonna be talking shit the whole time. <laughs> I already know. I'm like, damn. Damn. Oh man. Well, well what would you think about some of the questions that they asked him? Would you have drank or would you have told the truth? I zoned out sometimes. Yeah, I'm that. not gonna lie. That's 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 why when Would you, you was laughing, that? when you was laughing during that one show dealing with that um uh, that one monotone dude, I know I'm speaking monotone right now, but that one now nah, I gotta change how I'm talking. That one monotone dude, um, he said how he wanted the booty. When you was laughing at first, I was looking like, what the fuck is she laughing about? Like, <laughs> Dang, so you tune out like early. <laughs> <laughs> but I kept tuning back in, like going back in, because I was like, man, we could play a game like this, but it'd be better. And then I I try to zone in, and then I'd be like, god damn. I'd just be, oh, I don't I know, you. man. I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry, y'all. But this was a good choice of a video. 
No, it wasn't. I no, just said that. No, but I'm saying they give an idea of what we what we can do. Yes. Well, you guys, write down some questions for our Truth or Drink video, and oh, yeah. we will be doing it soon, yeah. and we'll answer your questions. Yeah, that's great stuff. I know, boo. Off. You need to get your glasses fixed. You need to go get an eye exam. We'll see you guys later. Bye, y'all. <laughs> Sound like an old-ass couple. Yeah, yeah, yeah.